Good evening, everyone. Late Night Mega here. And uh, tonight we're going to do a premiere draft of Wilds of Eldraine. And the last couple draft videos I did, I don't know what exactly happened, but the sound, the game sound, was like super loud. I didn't change any of my settings, but hopefully it should be fixed now. Um, the videos shouldn't be unwatchable, uh, but it might be, like, not the best quality. But check them out anyways, because the drafting and the uh, games themselves were lots of fun. Uh, so let's get in here and let's open... Did I ask for a bomb rare? What is this thing? I've never seen this card. Sentinel of Lost Lore. When it enters... Battlefield, choose one or more. Return target card you own in exile that has an adventure to your hand. Put target card you don't own in exile that has an adventure on the bottom of its owner's library. Exile target player's graveyard. Well, that seems reasonable. Uh, yeah, three mana, three, four. That's also a great rate for limited as well. Uh, it doesn't necessarily lock us into green. I'd be okay switching... Uh, based on some other picks. Other cards in this, there's some more good green cards here. Howling Galefang and Royal Treatment are both pretty good green. There's not a whole lot else in this pack. There's the Evolving Wilds. Cheeky House Mouse. Some okay sort of stuff. No, like, high-picking removal spells. Also, I've been finding it difficult to get into green in these drafts. Like, Sometimes it feels like green is closed on both ends. Uh, okay, so Tale of Ages and Chanted Creatures get plus two, plus two. We're not going to be doing that. Uh, this is a great green card. I wouldn't mind the edge wall in. Uh, that'd probably be my next choice if the green card wasn't here. An uncommon was taken, so there's no real signal yet. Hopefully it wasn't a green one. I mean, there's a ch there could be two green uncommons in that pack, but uh, I don't think that's a huge chance. So we're going to take this other great green 3-drop that could draw us some cards. So we want some adventure cards. What's also great about this, it's return card you own in exile with an adventure. Oh my... Lord Skitter's Butcher. I think that is the best card in the pack. There's not a green card worth take. That's not worth taking. Uh, Voracious Vermin. Yeah, so as I was kind of just saying, green can be difficult to get into, it feels. Uh, but Lord Skitter's Butcher is a great card that I wouldn't mind playing if we were playing black. Voracious Vermin would also be probably my next pick out of this pack, or even Feed the Cauldron. They probably Feed the Cauldron. Alright, but that doesn't mean we're black-green. We do have a Princess Takes Flight. We have a Tatted Ratter. Which, if Rats is open, we know this thing could just come back to us. Whereas this card will not come back to us. I'm going to take this one. Could also take the Princess Takes Flight. That wouldn't be awful either. There's a Voracious Vermin. Yeah, and it looks like we're off of green. And we're going into Raz. We're passing up some decent white cards, but I don't mind these black cards. Ah, and here's another Rat Catcher Trainee. Uh, Frantic Firebolt is okay, but I seem to, like, see this card a lot in draft and at, like, all times throughout the draft. Like, even as really late picks. So I'm going to take the Rat Catcher Trainee number two. There's Cut In. Uh, so yeah, Red seems to be open. Edge wall pack would be nice as well out of here, and there's like really nothing else going on. 
a third rat catcher trainee or the first flick a coin I mean how many rat catcher trainees do we want <laughs> It'll go great with the voracious vermin. I hope I can get that other one to wheel. And once again, like, green does not seem open. Not in the slightest. I'm going to take the flick of coin here. I could also just take witch's mark. I think either of these would be fine. We'll take flick of coin. It's pretty likely we're not going to be green. I suppose there's a chance we could still be red-green with this. That's a lot of white to come back. And I do like Return Triumphant. I like Not Dead After All as well. And minecart daredevil wouldn't be awful. Oh, there's an edge wall pack. So it's pretty certain we're going to be red as something. Uh, I don't think this is the type of something we would end up being in red. But I'm going to take it anyways. Protective Parents or a 2-drop with Celebration. You know, we do have a lot of... This kind of goes well with the Rat Catcher training because we could attack and use this um, Make 2 one, one Rats as a combat trick to give this plus 1, plus 1. That could be a thing. Who knows? We could use some good... Re well, we do have cut in. We could use some other good removal. We could use something that's not food fight. That that we don't need. Uh, Imidane Recruiter. I know the adventure side is white. But even just playing this as a 3 mana 2-2 two, two that gives your whole team plus 1 plus 0 oh in haste. I think is very reasonable. There's another Tangle Span Lookout, but we don't have a lot of roll stuff going on. I mean, there's the Not Dead after all, but we're going to be red for sure. So let's take the Recruiter. And we get more things that don't have much to do with us. I mean, there is the rat out, scream puff, grabby giant isn't awful. I'll take the rat out because we do seem to be mostly heading towards a rat direction. Also, making a whole bunch of rat tokens and then buffing them with this could be interesting. We didn't get that tattered ratter back. That is something worth noting. There's a gnawing crescendo. There's a goblin bombardment. I think I'm going to take this. Because it will go well with these three rat catcher trainees. And just kind of blanks all of our opponent's removal. This could be a deck for it. Also, we're like way off of green. Ah, here we go. Raging Battle Mouse. Second spell you cast each turn costs one less to cast. Celebration. Uh, beginning of combat, if you celebrated target creature, it's plus one, plus one. Alright, well, it's a rare, it's... Oh, it's not a rat, it's a mouse. 
Whatever, it's in our color. Uh, there's a stab wound here as well. Twisted fealty. I'm just going to take the battle mouse. Ah, uh, this catapult's not going to be in the deck. We can cut that right now. Ah, a Shatter the Oath. That's the type of thing I'm looking for here. Dark Tutelage could even be reasonable if I have the curve low enough, but uh, I just want a couple high removal spells that can just take out Ooh, impact tremors. In theory, that could work, but I'm going to take the Sting Blade Assassin. I think that goes well with the rat tokens. It just lets us keep swinging with rats and then use the Assassin's Effect to finish off some big creature. Ashiax Reaper, that's not really... Yeah, we're not having a lot of enchantments. So I think I'll take Feed the Cauldron to get some more removal. Merry Bards would be another decent pickup here. Mana Flare, what's this do? Taps a land for mana, player adds one of... I, I don't think that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to take the Witch's Mark. A great way to help if we start getting flooded out, which can happen a lot in aggressive decks. Uh, food Fight came back. I think I'll just pick it up. Because I don't think we need to play Scream Puff. And if we do, we can pick one up here. I could pick up the Frantic Firebolt. I think I'll take a Scream Puff as something for the top end. Gnawing Crescendo, there we go. What did I pick over this? I don't know. But we have Gnawing Crescendo in the deck. Uh, another Witch's Mark. I don't think I'm going to play two of them. Battle Garb could actually be okay with all the rats we're generating too. And we have Mythic. Uh, it's not a mythic that goes in the deck, but it's a mythic. Uh, if the mythic wasn't here, the hearth elemental would probably be my pick. There's a fourth rat catcher trainee. Um, not a whole lot else for us in this pack. So yeah, we're just going to take the mythic for the collection. Uh, if you want to be most efficient at building a collection through draft, picking the Mythics is the best uh, choice. And I don't think in this scenario it's going to hurt our deck that much to take the Mythic. Alright, well we have another rat out. Where we have the Conceited Witch... Or we have a Firebolt. How many instants and sorceries do we have? We, we have a number of them. I could use more removal. How many creatures do we have? 11. I could use more creatures. Uh, but I think here I'm going to just take the Firebolt. And another case of the Immundane's Recruiter. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to use the Adventure side unless I do end up getting like an Edge Wall in or a um... hey, what's the other card? Help me out, viewers. Um. 
Crystal Grotto. Thank you. A Crystal Grotto. Uh, we're going to take this one drop. It's a great one drop. Emberth Veteran. That'll help us be aggressive. A second Not Dead After All. I don't think we're playing that. Although, it's probably the most likely card to be picked. We have a lot of three drops in this deck that... Uh, we would be playing. Let's see, I'll I'll take the second not dead after all. All right, I could go for a second cut in, or a second shatter. I think I'm gonna go with a second cut in, just because we have a lot of rat. We have three of these things. We have a lot of things that can make rats. This can, you know, put that young hero roll on it. Start pumping up the rat as it's attacking. Oh, I thought we were... I thought we wheeled this thing. Uh, we didn't wheel it, but uh, it's definitely the pick for our top end. And I guess I can take the minecart daredevil. The adventure side can be fine combined with a rat. I don't think we need more two drops in here. Oh my gosh, we did wheel this thing. Well then, I'll take a second one. Uh, we'll end up cutting one of those scream puffs for sure. Uh, none of this is even remotely in our colors. We didn't get any bomb rares though. Or a way to really activate that thing. Would I play the Battle Garb in this deck? Okay, with this, I'm just going to take... I have no Spell Stutters, so we're going to take that. Sugar Rush... I don't know that I'm playing that. I have less of these. I have another Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush could go well with our rats as well. But I think I'd play the equipment before that. Uh, we have five cuts we need to make. First of all, let's take a look at our... We have 15 creatures. I think this will be a 17 land deck. I think we can get away with that between the Witch's Mark and the two Hearth Elementals. We want to be making our land drops. I could probably cut one creature. It seemed like black wasn't really open. Uh, so if we have to cut five things, we're going to be cutting some non-creatures for sure. I think Sugar Rush is probably one of the worst things we could have. The Battle Garp could be reasonable with all the rats. But I still don't think it's better than the other stuff we have. Uh, not dead after all is fine. Immundane Recruiter is fine, because that gives us like a mass pumping effect. 
our top end stuff is all fine. Can I run? I think as long as we have the Witch's Mark and the two Hearth Elementals, this is going to be a 17 land deck. I might even consider running, because all of our cheap stuff here that we need to play is red. Uh, but we do have Shatter the Oath. And I still need to make three cuts. One of those cuts is likely to be a creature. So let's start there. And I think it's the minecart daredevil. It just doesn't seem as good as the rest of the three drops. So yeah, let's cut that. Let's cut the flick a coin. Either that or the frantic firebolt. How many instants and sorceries do we have left? Uh, wow, not a lot. So yeah, I think the firebolt can go. And I almost think the flick... Oh wait, the firebolt also counts adventure cards, right? Oh, yeah, we have a lot of adventure cards. Yeah, never mind. Firebolt's gonna stay. What am I doing? I think I'll get rid of the Flick of Coin because we have the Rat Out for one toughness things, and we have Goblin Bombardment. I guess we do have a... Maybe that can be a Bomb Rare. We'll see. Now we need to cut one more card. Well, that's kind of a tough one. I really don't want to be cutting any of the creatures. So those are all useful. We kind of need the Gnawing Crescendo, the Firebolt, Feed the Cauldron Cut In. Shatter. Could also cut the Not Dead After All. Not Dead After All is really good with these ETB effects, though. And I don't like cutting that. Um, I think since we have two Hearth Elementals, we could probably cut the Witch's Mark. And we could just maybe use the Stroke of Genius when we're getting flooded out later on. Yeah, I don't need... I don't think I need three cards to mitigate that. Alright, so yeah, that will be the deck. Uh, I guess our Bombardment can be the star card. Average mana cost of three. Down to 14 creatures, but a couple of these... Uh, okay, Red Out can make creatures. All right, let's get into the games then. But we don't have a way to... You know, I'm gonna cut a mountain and throw in a plains. Because we don't have any double red costs. And this planes later on might 
help us to use this adventure as well. I think the opportunity cost for that is kind of low. Granted, I would like to have an Evolve in Wilds, which I'd put over a Swamp. But I think eight red sources should still be fine. And our first opponent is Wolfie. We have one drop, two drop. These things when we find a black source. Let's go for it. We got now annoying crescendo. We don't need to play the adventure part of this to get full value. Not going to. I'm just going to keep up the uh, aggression here. Alright, well, there's a curse. But now our Firebolt can deal three. If I want it to. But I think for now we're just going to play the Lord Skitter's Butcher. And make ourselves a rat. Generally in Limited, you just kind of want to play your creatures out first. When possible, you know, if opponent plays some bomb that needs immediate removal, please remove it. Uh, but here, this is a good cutting turn. Now we're going to put the hero roll on the mouse, because that will be the smallest thing. It'll benefit the most from this, and we go attacking. And suddenly our opponent is down to 10. We've got rat out. We've got a firebolt that is now going to do 4 damage. Yeah, I'm glad I picked this up. Wandering Acolyte. And a Troublemaker. An opponent is still attacking. That's a little bold. Okay, opponent is not still attacking. That's a little more reasonable. Alright, now how do we do this? We've got Rat Out, we've got Gnawing Crescendo. I think we just attack because everything we have is an instant. We'll let our opponent block to their doom. Double blocking the rat there. That makes me really want to just gnawing crescendo. But I could... I could let this trade happen and just kill that. Save the gnawing crescendo. Ah. I kill that. That's going to die too. Yeah, I... I kind of like this to kill something bigger. Alright, let's do this. 5-3, yeah. Alright. I'm still going to get another rat back. It's rat-tastic. I'm just afraid that they're going to play something big and I'm going to need this firebolt for something big. another swamp, it could be... Alright. It's fine. Could just be the game. Let's see?
Larry AB is our next bonus. Let's see what you got there, Larry. Ah, oh, this is great. We go first. Oh, it's not dead after all. I thought that was rat out. Just checking on the recording real quick. All right. I'm going to play this as a two drop. Because we have three of them. We can make more rats later. Wicked Visitor. Oh, there's Lord Skitter's Butcher. I don't have a need to do this. Anything pre-combat. I'm going to play the Vermin here. Next, I can play Lord Skitter's Butcher and have Not Dead After All up. Alright, that's fine. Ooh, our planes has arrived. I'm just gonna sack this scry to and draw a card. Oh my yes. I want all of this. This gets bigger. This goes attacking. And this is not dead after all. Now it comes back, we get another rat. Oh yeah, look at our board. It's turn four. Travel guide. I kind of just want to... Kind of just want to kill that. Because then I can storm in with everything. Do I need to do that, though? I feel like it could just be better to... Develop our board a bit more. Because now, even if our opponent triggers Celebration and attacks for three and gains three... I'm doing all of that, okay. I'm gonna hold the land, actually. Wait! I'm not going to hold the land. We're gonna bring the pain. Have a bunch of damage. Is this even lethal? I didn't calculate. Oh, hey, that was lethal. <laughs> Turn six, kill. By the way, I'm really glad I put that one of planes in there. Aether led the unready 17. We have our planes. I mean, I would kind of like to play the Rat Catcher trainee as the adventure first, but that means we're not doing anything until turn three. I don't think that's good. I'd also like to play our thing is the two knights first. So I'm going to need a little bit of help from the deck to get like some three drops. Help from the pizza monster. The haunted toilet seat.
Oh, that's... a bit unfortunate. I'm definitely not going to block. You are going to block? What's the catch here? I'm confused. Well, we've got cut in, we've got firebolt on something small. Perfect. Attack me. Or don't. I. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna use cut in. I'll just play our 2 1. Oh, another vermin. Yeah, well, I can cut in on that. Again, you have a free attack with the rat. I'm not gonna block that rat. Uh, I do want this gone. And this can get bigger. I suppose I should have played my land in case something bad happened. I'm gonna hold the swamp in case we get one of our hearth elementals. I feel like there's half our deck we haven't drawn yet. But I mean, this part of the deck has been working. Our opponent's down to 11 already. Okay, bro, your rats cannot... Alright, that's fine. Your rats cannot block. You need to attack with them. I have nothing to stop them. No, they can't even worry about any tricks. Come on, you can do it. Rats need to attack. Yay, you did it! I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't have offered the rat token last turn for the for this, and it just attacked into this, but, uh, okay. I don't understand it. I guess I don't need to. Uh, we are flooding out, though. I feel like there could be a trick, but, you know... What else am I going to do? These Vigilant Knights are going to be great against uh, a lot of this board. Alright, that happens. That's unfortunate, but that is what removal does. I guess he wanted the rat token. I suppose I should have played one of the lands. Why am I not playing lands in play case of the Hearth Elemental? I'm, I'm thinking I still have that Witch's Mark card in the deck. I should be playing that, so when I do the discard draw to, I might actually have stuff to play. Oh, whatever. I mean, right now, we're poised to attack for 12 next turn.
I know there's an adventure that can give your whole opponent's team minus one, minus one. Oh, okay. We're doing that. Oh, yeah, this is great, too. It's fine, I'll take the damage for attacking. Do I want this thing back? That comes back with a roll. I mean, I may as well. Opponent is down to two. We have a wicked roll that's basically putting them at one. We've got four creatures. All of them are lethal. And he's only got one blocker. Those rat tokens are just not good. At... Okay, well... You still have the same problem, opponent. We just win when we attack. Still haven't drawn a single Hearth Elemental or our Goblin Bombardment. Or our rare two-drop mouse card. Or multiple trainees in the same game. I always seem to have one in my opening hand, but I haven't been able to use the adventure on it yet. Because I need them as two-drops. Because otherwise I'm kind of lacking in those. Uh, okay, so opponent looks like they're either roping or another thing that might happen that I, I kind of learned about, maybe they're not necessarily roping and just running down the timer because they know they lost and, and are being a poor sport. Um, but if you're playing on mobile, I've heard that if you just close the app out instead of instead of like going up here and clicking on concede, this will this will what ha this is what happens. It. it essentially ropes you out of the game. Our opponent could be in another game right now, uh, having closed the app and reopened it. And, but they're still here in this game, looking like they're roping us. Oh, hey! Just because I want to actually do something with this. Oh, cool, I can do this again. I mean, I don't need to, because this is just victory. Yeah, we're going to have to wait for the timer to go down again. It makes for not the best viewing, but we have... Hey, I'm clicking you. I want you to do your thing. See, my pet does his thing when I command him. Wee hee hee. The box is so silly. Uh, so yeah, our opponent could be in another game already while still being here. And we're at three wins already, which is the worst we ever want to do in one of these drafts. I know one of them we got like two wins, but the rest have all been three or better. Meta Hipster. Wait, we're up against a mythic rank. But now we're sad that this isn't a, uh... Any third land, we have this Lord Skitter's Butcher active. We can kill a one toughness thing. But don't do this to me, deck. Not against a mythic opponent. I 
Okay. I'll take it. Um... Both of those. Eh, I don't think I want to use re Well... How are we going to do this? Oh no, I'm... I'm confusing this for not dead after all. And <laughs> I confused not dead. They both cost one black mana, okay? That's not good. I think I can just rat out that. Um, go, go, Lord Skitter's Butcher. Oh, there goes one of our hearth elementals for sure. Spreading seas on my black land. Okay. And that thing's going to get bigger. I think we need to cast this regardless of what happens here just to make this cheaper. Because I think I'm going to be doing this next turn. I mean, you're not going to play anything that this is going to kill, so let's just... Save a point of damage. I swear, if you play a one toughness creature. Okay, I get to mill four cards. Maybe I didn't want to draw those anyways. That's interesting. Our opponent's just playing rares over there. Uh, but we have... Goblin Bombardment. Could even play this as a 4-5, but I think it's just better... Yeah, it's just a free draw, too. We need the cards. Can I get aggressive here? I don't feel I can. This thing is annoying. Well, that thing's now a 5-5. Five, five. That makes things a little more difficult. I suppose I could be attacking with the rats, because I can always bombardment them. Stop playing big things. And stop playing flyers. Well, this turn just got a lot more interesting. Alright, well, we gotta get aggressive. Cool, we get to kill stuff. Now I can Goblin Bombardment. Oh shoot, that thing gets bigger. Well, I guess I gotta do that first.
Oh, I suppose I could have done that too and give it trample. Well... I was gonna get plus one, plus one. I'll sack one of these rats. I don't need to sack this thing to make another rat. Alright. Goblin Bombardment, doing some work. It's back a spell stutter, so we're just going to be a little bit careful about that. Or, okay, we don't have to. Going to make that bigger. Okay. This gives target creature I control plus one plus. Ah, this is perfect. So we play this. And we're gonna play our four or five. And we're gonna celebrate. Uh, the mouse does not need to attack. Currently, our opponent has seven damage on us. All right, keep stack that thing to block. Okay. I'm kind of winning on board, because I can swing... I'm eh, not quite. I'm not quite winning on board. I'm almost dead. This just in, I'm winning on board. How are you tapping these lands? Goblin Bombardment, target you, sack a thing. Yeah, I'm gonna sack six things just to kill you. Target you, sack a thing. All right, this is a good rare. The thing is, I can sack, like, our opponent can't do any removal or anything to stop this. Because I can just sack... I can sack again in response. You don't have food. We just beat a mythic opponent. Then again, I've been mythic before, too. Yeah, Mythic player just got wrecked by a Platinum rank. Well, I'm only currently in Platinum because I haven't played a whole ton in recent months. But uh, that being a numbered Mythic opponent, ranked 111, losing to a Platinum rank, that's really going to hurt his rating. Hey, we're back to Platinum opponents. Akbro Nindax. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. Thank you for the one drop. I suppose I can keep our other color hidden and just play the uh, mountain right now. I mean, okay, well, we're not going to trade then. It's fine. We've got a Firebolt. We have... It could be tricks. So I'll trade on my terms. 
Yeah, what are you what are you doing? Alright. Lord Skitter's Butcher. Oh, I should... I could have celebrated. Whatever. In case there are tricks. So, like, if he blocks here and tries a combat trick, I can Firebolt and blow him out, or I'm just gonna let this happen. I'm a genius. So, kind of got rid of the, the knight. The knight is the main part of this enchantment. So we got a uh, nice two for one there. I know this thing is blocked. It won't deal damage. He's going to get to scry two. Uh, hopefully finding a third land. Oh no, he hasn't missed a land drop, has he? No. No, he hasn't missed a land drop. Alright, so taking two. We've got pressure, we've got board presence, we've got Lord Skitter's Butcher. Not dead after all would be like a perfect draw here. Or opponent plays like a single creature and we draw a cut in. That would also be very nice. That's not what I had in mind. Uh, I'm actually going to just rat catch your trainee. I could have. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. This wasn't a. This isn't a, a super bomb rare or anything. Okay. I guess we're gonna trade these. We may as well attack first. And of course, if there's any fancy trick, I can just sack this. Alright, no fancy trick. That is fine for me. We're going to sack and draw, because I need a little bit more pressure here. Is a random 2-2 two -two celebrate? I'm not going to be able to celebrate. I, I'd rather draw something else. Rat out? Sure. Because now I can actually double spell next turn if that becomes relevant. So with the aggressive decks in... Well, not just this format, but uh, in limited formats in general, you want to have creatures and keep your opponent's board clear at the same time. If you can do both of those things at once, are you going to be sitting in a pretty good spot. Edgewall pack. Is this lethal? Two, four, five, six, seven? Yeah, it's lethal. Oh, hey, there's this thing, too. But, yeah, this is gonna be lethal. Yeah, our opponent missed a turn, also taking a turn off and not being able to play anything. That also loses you very quickly against an aggro deck. Tablet of comp I was going to say contemplation, but uh, completion. Contemplation. All right. We're up to five wins. No losses yet. 
absolutely phenomenal draft. Taharn is our next opponent, a gold rank player. We're missing black, but we have, you know, uh, never mind, we have our black source now. Okay, because our opponent could just have removal, I'm actually going to get down our goblin bombardment here. And we can use these now. Our opponent is just in massive trouble. Oh, he's got blue. It's kind of annoying. All right. Don't need to reveal our hidden light source yet. I don't... I don't want to run the edge wall pack into something. Although if there was a counter, there would have been a counter already. I don't know what our opponent is doing. I mean, it's turn five. He hasn't played anything yet. Just, just do this again. Okay. Like, you try killing this stuff, it just becomes damage to your face. Alright, we reveal our hidden fifth land. Attack. I, I don't... Is there a red trick that can just deal with damage to everything. I mean, even if there is, it just becomes damage to his face. Um... I'm under the no reason not to? I mean, I've got guaranteed six damage on board here. Our opponent's effectively at eight life right now. And that's best case scenario for our opponent. And I've only played three cards this whole game. That's the power of adventures. Oh, you try to kill my stuff, it's just... Okay. Yeah, I don't care. I really don't. I mean, I don't want a gnawing crescendo into open mana, that's the only thing. I'll play a creature into open mana, like, his spell stutter doesn't work here. That does. And that stops the raven bombardment from doing its thing. That's fine. Our opponent's still effectively at four life. That's kind of annoying. Now, if I only have red cards, why are you tapping two of my mountains? Not that it really matters here. Oh yeah, I attack with this and <laughs> rat bombardment. That's what we're calling this deck. We are 6-0. and oh. So shot at 7 wins here now, but there's another really important factor. I have only, in my entire time of playing Arena, I'm pretty sure I've only ever once had a draft where I went 7-0. Oh. I've had plenty of 7-1 and 7-2 before, but I think there's only once where I went 7-0. We're a silver player, Atto Fox. Don't discount him because he's a silver player. 
we have a feed the cauldron? This hand just doesn't do anything. But I hate taking a mulligan. Oh, I have no creatures. I have no pressure. I can't do that. Alright, this I can do. Uh, so don't discount him just because he's silver. Let's get our two drop down. If he doesn't play anything, he could have Kellen's Light Blades as a removal spell. Instant and sorceries you control have Life Link. That's not. Preferable. I'm gonna attack. And, uh. Do I wreck? Wreck Hatcher right now is more efficient. I kinda want to stop his stuff from having lifelink, because I could just. He doesn't have anything right now, though. Okay, we're just gonna pass. We're just gonna pass. We're gonna do the rat thing. Oh, it's a white green deck. Okay, so this is just a two mana one three. I mean that happens. It's fine. Four two. Oh, also I could be celebrating with. I probably should. Whatever. I need to get our bombardment down. We're not going to do anything else this turn. Feels a little bad. Because, like, if we had drawn a land there, we could have gotten bombardment and played the Rat Catcher Trainee, celebrated, been able to attack for three here. This is just a 4-2 with Ward 1. I mean, I can sack it at any moment that I want to. I don't need to sack that right now. I do prefer not dying right now, though. Just cut in. If I attack with this, can I? Or do I need to keep this back to try and trade? 2, 4... So that'd be 7 damage. Bring him down to 11. Next turn could be lethal? Let's be risky. Kill this. Yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna plan on sacking a couple of rats here to get this thing.
So those were kind of free sacrifices because they traded with removal and then we sacked a rat to finish that off. I think that was a fine trade. Well, this whole being at t six life is not as fine. That's not better. Alright, well now I can kill that with the rat. I should have not been so hasty there. Uh, well I need to block. Because if I, if I didn't do that, I maybe could have assassinated this thing. Yep, that's game. Yeah, I just, I didn't get lands. Alright, well, so much for going 7-0. Oh, did I have fun? Yeah, it was, it was an okay game. We got a little bit mana screwed there. It ended up not mattering because we didn't get the land, but I should have not been so hasty in sacking the rat because I could have attacked with it. And then if he blocked with the thing and I had a fourth land, I could have used the uh, Stingblade Assassin to finish the uh, giant off. Imprudent Jurist. I can't cast anything, and it's time to not be so risky. I think I'm gonna get rid of the assassin here. Warehouse tabby, another cut in. Since we don't even have the planes, I'm not going to worry about the adventure, I'm, and I need a free drop. Last casket. Man, if only I had raid bombardment right now, or goblin bombardment, not raid bombardment. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's okay, though. And I do have cut-ins here. I don't think we're in that bad of a shape after Tegima. I would rather be playing this hand with one less card than than that other hand where we really needed to get a mountain to do anything. And I guess this is not going to be a 7-0. It looked like it was going to be 7-0 for quite a while. We zipped right up to six wins. Oh, go ahead. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's cut him down to size. We'll cut to the chase. I have a lot of cut jokes. Oh, you have a rat from that. That's kind of annoying. Hmm. Alright. Well, 
light blades? That's rude. Alright, let's get a uh, thing going here. We can't really block any of this. Was this young hero? Oh, it's young hero roll. I could actually block here. That wouldn't be an awful idea. But I don't think we need to. Darn. Oh, I like that card. Alright. Let's go attacking. Doesn't want to do that, huh? Alright, well, I'm not giving you a chance to do anything. I have not dead after all, which I do like. I really wanted him to double block there. Uh, I guess, because that would have killed both things just on the surface. Oh, wouldn't he have that thing? Knight of Doves. Don't be doving it up now. Okay, sure. Get aggressive here. Uh, let's kill the flyer. Look at that, I'm not dead after all. That comes back as a 4 4. We're gonna just straight up draw two cards. We're gonna straight up get a 4 5. Straight up, let's just draw a raid boom bar. I need to stop mispronouncing it. That's why we're we're having issues. Not ray bombardment. Let's draw goblin bombardment. It would be great here. I could just sack this and kill their rat. Uh, yeah, I don't think he wanted me to do that. Frantic Firebolt. That's a cool card. Just wants to take four. All right. I don't recommend attacking me. Hey, we got seven wins. <laughs> Twenty gen. What did I get a? Uh... Ah, yep, that's right. Because I have all of the. Now, usually when I get one of the card rewards from the random wins, if it's something I already have, it just shows me the the card with the gem on it, and not the card itself that we got. And then gems over here. But yeah, I have I have all the rares from Brothers War, so I've actually been getting a lot of gems like from the midweek magic and stuff, uh, the twenty gem things from from that and from those because anytime it gives me a card from a regular rare from brothers war is just gems so that's kind of neat let's take another look at the deck um we only got goblin bombardment a couple of times but it was phenomenal in this deck uh not dead after all rat out Embereth veteran all great cards this thing was great too especially in conjunction with goblin bombardment uh, these couple two drops were fine. They, they they served their role. Uh, we never got Feed the Cauldron. We saw it one time, but it was a hand we had to mulligan. Skidder's Butcher was great. Vermin was great. Firebolt was great. Gnawing Crescenda was great. These things were great, too. Even when we didn't do the adventure thing, but good thing I just threw a planes in there for a couple of those games. And we never got to cast this, either. Cut-ins were great. Hearth Elementals were great, too. I was surprised when that one wheeled. 
Uh, so I thought this was a pretty decent deck overall. I wasn't necessarily expecting seven wins out of the deal, but uh, deck performed great and really got there. Bombardment was crucial. We beat a mythic player. Like, what more could we possibly... Oh, okay, other than the one little blemish there. Against the silver... See, that's why the rankings don't matter that much. Um, there are some people that... that get into like bronze and, and silver and, and struggle to get out of them because they they make a lot of not great draft choices or deck building choices in that uh, or aren't familiar with some of the tricks in limited like you don't want to play your combat trick first into your opponent's open uh, mana or if your opponent is swinging with a 4-4 four, four into your 4-5 that there's going to be some sort of combat trick. Your opponent's not just going to throw their creatures away at you, generally speaking, without a good reason. Where was I going with that? I had a point I was making. My point was this deck wasn't, it didn't look or feel like it was going to be super great on paper, but obviously it performed incredibly well. There was a lot of rat synergy. Yeah, so we're going to claim our prize. Oh, I know what my point was. this: The silver versus mythic. So yeah, the, the silver player wasn't necessarily a bad player. Neither was the mythic that we faced. Uh, well, of course not. They, they did get to mythic. But um, that, that, that's where the ranking... Kind of takes some of the ranking with a grain of salt. Just because... You know, you're matched up against a higher ranked player than you sometime doesn't necessarily mean you're worse and they're better or they have a better deck. Sometimes it does, but, uh, you know, it could just mean that they play draft more and other people have drafted this set more than me so far, but that didn't stop me from getting seven wins here, which is phenomenal. So for now, I'll take my leave.